I was just thinking of my grandmother this morning as I look around and I see that a lot of things are changing and even I, am, and I've always been extremely frugal, and I mean extremely, because I've always been poor. And um, I remember the words that she said to me. She said that we either can work to pay somebody else to do our work for us, or we can work for ourselves. And I said, Grandma, what on earth do you mean by that? She says, everything that you do or that you buy, you can make it yourself. She said, every jar of jelly, lard, sausage, everything. She said, there's only a couple of things in life that you actually need. And she said, that's water, um, a roof over your head, and food. She said, that's it, water. A roof over your head, food, and of course you have to have clothes. But my grandmother was an excellent seamstress. My grandmother could take those old cloths that feed sacks that they used to have burlap that corn and stuff would feed would come in or flour would come in and she could turn those into beautiful clothes. Shocked me. But she could. And she said all of those things you can actually do yourself. There's not anything that you can't go yourself. The problem, she said, is that we have wants. She said women are, my grandmother really thought women were a disaster. She used to say women can throw more money out the back door than a man can bring in the front door. She used to say that about my mother, it was amazing. But there is some truth to what she says. We have become victims of the food chains that are poisoning us. They're, I mean, every time we're turning around, listerious in something, there's a recall, E. coli, salmonella. Our cereal is being poisoned now. Uh, it's detrimental to kids. Our oatmeal is poisoned. Our flour is being poisoned. Well, whose fault is that? Ours. Because we turned over our power to the food company. And we didn't say, we're not going to buy this from you. We're not going to do this. We've not learned to do without. It's kind of like my grand okay, my grandmother. She would make all of her own jams and jellies. Now, she would go out and pick blackberries in the wild. And I said to her, but Grandma... Not everybody lives where wild blackberries grow. There's no blackberries growing where I live and no blueberries either. She said, you can grow a tomato plant, can't you? And I said, well, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. She said, make yourself some tomato jam. And I said, tomato? It's going to have a tomato taste. So what? It's still sweet and it's still a jam. And it's organic and it's... um poisonous free in other words you're not going to spray it with a bunch of garbage and you made it and you don't have to pay nobody else to make it for you she's right see she's she's got a point it's like she said we want certain things peach jelly strawberry jam strawberry jelly we go on and on and on but we don't want to make it we want to buy it already made. Well, you're working for somebody else to do your job. That's your job to feed your family. Not to go and get a job to pay somebody else to feed your family so you can run to the grocery store and buy everything. And that is the big problem we have today. Look at what's happened with Tyson. Uh-huh. You help those people out there that worked there for years and years and bought their chicken have made them filthy rich and now they're getting rid of them they're going to hire somebody else to take their place, pay them a whole lot less and these people are not going to have jobs and then who's it going to hurt them? Why? Well, you put too much power in Tyson's hands 
There are, these companies do not care anything, anything about the people that work there. They just don't. You are a means to get rich off of, and that's nothing else. That's all you are. And the moment that you push too much, want too much, guess what happens? Well, they close their doors down like they're doing in California right now. A whole bunch of places are closing down, getting rid of people because they can't pay $20 an hour. I want you to understand something. No one goes into business to lose money. They go into business to make money. That's why they put up the capital and spend all this money to go into business because they want to make money. Now, what can we do? Same thing I've done all my life. I really, Walmart, I can't get over how many people just fall in love with Walmart. And Walmart is junk. I know exactly how they feel. I know exactly how they work. And their vegetables are disgusting. I'm not loyal to anybody. I, they're not loyal to me. I go to Albertsons. I go to a food king we have here, a food city. I go to three or four different stores. Costco, I'm not loyal to any of them. None of them. I'm the least loyal to Walmart. Why? Walmart never puts anything on sale. And I want you to know something. Walmart brags in their meetings when I first started working for Walmart about how they never, ever put out ads, sale ads, sale ads like flyers, like other stores do. And they save millions upon millions of dollars doing that. Yep, they save millions of dollars and they don't put nothing on sale. Now listen, even the rollback. I went in there to get one item and I saw they had a lime pie there that I hadn't had in probably 15 years. And I wanted one and it was on a rollback for $6 and I said, I'm going to get this. Because it would cost me that much to make it. Well, I get up there and it wasn't on a rollback. I walked out and told them to keep it. I don't care. They rip people off constantly because it's not on rollback. They just claim it is. And when you get up there, you pay the price and you don't pay attention. So many people do not pay attention at Walmart to the prices. They just go in there and buy whatever. And this is what's happened. We've turned over everything to these companies. And we are victims but of our own doing. That's right. And when, don't think you're going to grow your own. Don't think that you're going to be able to, you know, have a garden. It ain't going to go that way. They're already sending notifications out to people telling them, you cannot grow a garden. You can only water once a week. That's it. So what are you going to do? Oh, I know. I've heard people say, I'll grow one anyhow. Mm -hmm. Till they fine you hundreds or thousands of dollars. And if they catch you watering on days that you're not supposed to, they will fine you. Eventually, though, they will actually stop you. No one will be able to have a garden. And the point of it is, is those who do sneak and try to do it, don't worry. Neighbors a mile away will know that you're doing it and you will have 50 to 100 people in your yard stealing every piece of food you've got. So don't depend on and tell yourself, well, you know, I'll just grow my own food and I'll do this and I'll do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Just like all of you. Have you been in Walmart lately? I did. I went in there the other day. Eggs over $3 a dozen. Tyson chicken up the yang yang. I don't buy Tyson chicken. I've never liked it. I'm not loyal to anybody when it comes to food. Most of it, I do myself. The only thing I don't do is olive oil because I don't have olives. And they don't grow where I live. So, I do buy some olive oil, organic flour because I can't grow flour where I live. But my stuff is minimal. And I do mean minimal. Well, uh, thanks for listening. I just wanted to share. I think we're headed for super, super serious problems. But God bless. 
and do more for yourself than you've ever done before. You're going to need to. To survive, 